games mean? What we really want is to, to liberate the robots. And how do you propose to do that? They are to be, to be dealt with like human beings. Aha. Uh -huh. I suppose that they're to vote, to do here, to order us about? Why shouldn't they vote? Perhaps they're even to receive wages? Of course they are. Fancy that now. And what would they do with their wages? Trade? They would buy what they need, what pleases them. That would be very nice, Miss Glory. Only there's nothing that does please the robots. Good heavens, what, what are they to buy? <coughs> you can feed them on pineapples, straw, whatever you like. It's all the same to them. They're, they've no appetite at all. They've no interest in anything, Miss Glory. Why hang it all? Nobody's ever yet seen a robot smile. Why, why don't you make them happier? That wouldn't do, Miss Glory. They're only robots. Oh, but that's so sensible. Not sensible, Q. Co-family so, but they're nothing else. They have no will of their own, no passion, no soul. No love, no desire to resist. Rather not. Robots don't love, not even themselves. And the desire to resist, I don't know. Only rarely, only from time to time. What? Nothing particular. Occasionally they seem somehow to go off their heads. Something like epilepsy, you know. Um, we call it robots cramp. They'll suddenly sling down everything they're holding, stand still, gnash their teeth, and then they have to go into a stamping mill. It's evidently some breakdown in the mechanism. A flaw in the works. It'll have to be removed. No, no. That's the soul. Do you think that the soul first shows itself by its gnashing of teeth? I don't know. Perhaps it's a sign of revolt. Perhaps it's just a sign that there's a struggle. Oh, if you could infuse them with it. That'll be remedied, Miss Glory. Dr. Hoffgall is making some experiments. No book regards that domain. At present, I'm making pain nerves, to use a very unscientific expression. Pain nerves? Yes. The robots feel practically no bodily pain. You see, young Rawson provided them with too limited a nervous system. That doesn't answer. We must introduce suffering. Why? Why don't you give them a soul? Why do you want to cause them pain? For industrial purposes, Miss Glory. Sometimes a robot does damage to himself because it doesn't hurt him. He puts his hand into the machine, breaks his fingers, smashes his head. It's all the same to him. He must provide them with pain. That's an automatic protection against damage. Will they be happier if they feel pain? On the contrary, but they will be more perfect from a technical point of view. Mm -hmm. Why don't you create a soul for them? That's not in our power. That's something I'm interested. 